All right, welcome back to another video here on Free Will Photos. Today, we're gonna try and make a sunset looking photo out of this image. And I'm not gonna use Sky Swap AI. So we're gonna go ahead and zoom in over here on these people. And we're gonna use our retouch tool and then we're gonna get the spot healing. And all I'm gonna do is make the size of my brush and I'm using a 40% feather. I'm just going to brush these people away. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. I just feel like they were a distraction to the overall image, which is why I'm getting rid of them. I'm just gonna do a big push here. And hopefully, nope, that didn't sample in a good spot. So we'll come over here and try and make these waves match up. All right, I think that looks decent. Let's zoom out and see what happens. Yeah, if you didn't know I was doing it, you wouldn't even uh, notice that, so. All right, now that we have the people removed from the image, it's time to get started. So the first thing that I wanna do is this image is very overexposed. I'm just gonna pull down on the exposure and that is going to start to bring back some of the contrast here in the foreground and in this rock. Now, I'll bring up my mids just a touch and I want the shadows to go down and I wanna bring the blacks down as well. The next thing, I think because this photo was overshot or uh, overexposed, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull down on the haze slider. And as you can see, it's just bringing back some natural tones to this image. Now, because I'm going for a more sunshot type of image, I'm gonna pull the temperature over to the right and just warm it up a little bit. So here is the before, the super exposed and bright image. And here is the after. Now we're not done, that's just the base, right? I wanna start with my base. Now we're gonna come over here to our effects. The first thing that I wanna do is grab a color enhancer and I want to pull the uh, or I'm sorry I want to brighten up this sand and this little tonal area right here so the way that I'm gonna do that is I'm going to click on the orange pull my range up quite a bit and then I'm just gonna pull the brightness you see how the sand is getting brighter now uh, what I want to do is just make some interest in, in that color, right? Because when we start to add our colors into this particular image, all of that's going to come into play. All right, so that's about where I'll probably leave that. I could play you know, with the temperature again here, but I don't think I like that. So I'm just gonna leave that alone. Oh, the other thing that I want to do is make sure that I have a good color separation. So I'm just gonna pull down on the saturation of my aquas and make them darker and do the same thing with the blues and make those darker. And with the blues, since there's not that much that I can see in the image, I'm just gonna pull up the range and that'll just help select the right blues. All right, so turning this off, you can see these areas just get brighter when, when this is on. Now. The next step that I want to do is start to add my color to this image. I'm going to throw a photo filter on, hit the uh, rectangle there, and I get my color wheel. So the first color that I want to start with is an orangish color, and or like a red, really. Um, now, your image, you can choose whatever color you want to start with. But for me, I like to start with the red tone. And I'm just gonna pull this up quite a bit. Now, what I'm looking for is the way that it's interacting with this reflection and how it's making the overall image look. Obviously, I'm not gonna leave it at this strength. I just need to uh, find where it works. Now, the polarizer, what it does is it helps pull a little bit of contrast, right? I want this image to retain some of its pristine sharpness. Now, what I'm gonna do is come over here to our uh, mask and I am going to invert this. 
and the next thing that I'm going to do is just start to paint this back in. Now I'm going to get a fairly large brush and I am going to paint this right over the bottom. Just like so. And then I am going to get an even larger brush. I'm going to change my opacity down to about 60. And I'm just going to paint this over the sky. Now, you're probably wondering like, well, why would you paint it darker down at the bottom and brighter in the sky or less in the sky? The reason for that is the sun is going to be in the sky, so it's going to be brighter. And it, since it's setting, or at least that's the illusion that I'm going for, then I need the sun or I need these areas to be just a little bit darker. Now, I'm going to pull down on the opacity till I get to about here, and then I'm going to feather this so that way that blend happens more gradual. All right, so that's my first layer. Now, I'm just going to repeat this process, grab a photo filter, get the color, and this time I want to go with more of an orange uh, color and I'll pull this up and since we already have a mask all I'm gonna do is come over here and I am going to copy this mask and then I'll come back to here and I'm gonna paste it and now what I'm gonna do is lower the opacity And this one should be a little bit lower than the other one because these are all building on top of each other right so this one the opacity is at 74 and this one is at 33 now I'm gonna do one more pass and this time I'll bring it down to about 15 the color will be a yellow this is going to be like our brightest color. I'm going to crank that up pretty good. And this one, I don't even feel like I need to blend in any special kind of way. All right. Uh, turn it off and turn it on. It's real subtle, but it fits with the overall tone of the image and, and the feel of what, what I'm going for, at least. So now that I have all of those, it's time to kind of make some interest right so I'm gonna grab yet again another photo filter I'm gonna turn this one purple and then I'm going to grab a masking bug get a radio filter and this time should be edges I'm gonna click in there because I want to keep the effect of what I'm doing inside of the circle then I'm just gonna pull this out to the edges and I'm gonna need to clean uh -oh. I'm gonna need to clean this up I already know what I'm trying to get is this right here I just want this right over the horizon. So now we'll grab the brush tool and I'm going to put my opacity all the way up to 100. I'm just gonna take a brush and come right over the edge. Okay, and now what I can do is come over here to my mask, feather this quite a bit so that way it's kind of fuzzy-ish. We'll take it off of the mountain as well. And then maybe that's too much feather because I do want it to be a little uh, visible. And then we'll polarize it as well. Maybe the feather can go back up. It's all just a playing game. You have to play with it until you get to look you're going for and then probably just paint in a little bit over here okay so we got some 
spillage over here. And I am just going to make a large selection. I'm gonna paint this all the way from my mask. Okay, so now it's actually in the places where it ought to be. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the before and the after. Now, this is starting to look better. I think that I need to increase the brightness on the sand again. And now the last thing that I want to do is really just add some color to this sky. So I'm going to grab another photo filter. And this time I'm going to go for a really rich looking color. Uh, in fact, let me just pull the amount up because I want to really see this and I'm going to saturate it and everything. Okay. This might be a good blend somewhere between here and I'll fade it just a touch. So let's go with that color, okay? Now we'll hit M. This time I'm going to grab my linear bottom. I'll click about here just so I can fade this in to my sunset. I realize I never leveled this photo. So we'll grab our brush tool. I'm gonna paint this away from my rock because I don't need it there. Make my brush a little bit smaller. Do the same over here and right there. And I'm not gonna do this perfectly. And now I can just lower the opacity of this just a touch and polarize it. Maybe even saturate it a little bit more. Hit the O key. I have a pretty decent blend there. So there's the final image. Here is a before and an after. If you found value in today's video, smash the like button. If you're new here, consider subscribing for more content just like this. Until next time, I want you to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.